we have just finished implementation of expense tracking in our ToDo app. Here is how we can log expenses. It looks like our app is ready for production deployment. My database and application are running on my laptop. The data is handled by a local instance of Microsoft SQL Express, and the app is hosted on Microsoft IIS Express. Nobody on the internet can access this app. We now need a publicly available web server connected to a production quality database engine. I will show you how to deploy this app and database to Microsoft Azure Cloud. Select the project name. Select Publish, and select Azure. If you do not have an Azure account, now would be a good time to sign up. Select the Start Free button. Go ahead and log in to your Microsoft account. Fill out the required details. Confirm your identity by phone. Verify your identity by card. Once your identity is confirmed, Check the box to confirm your agreement with the Terms of Service and press Sign Up. We will need to complete the remaining steps to prepare our cloud for publishing directly from Codontime App Generator. To complete step two, we will need to acquire the directory ID. Press the Navigate link. Sign into your account. In the left sidebar, select Azure Active Directory. In the list, select Properties. Next to Directory ID, click the icon to copy the value. Paste the Directory ID value into the text box underneath Step 2. For Step 3, click the Copy link next to the Sign-on URL. Step 4 will require us to create a new app registration. In the Azure portal, click on App Registrations. Create a new application registration. Assign the name Code on Time. Paste the sign on URL. Press Create. Select the display name of the new app registration that we just created. Copy the application ID. In the application ID text box, paste the new application ID. For step 5, we will need to add the permission Windows Azure Service Management API to our Active Directory app registration. In the Azure portal, under the Settings blade, select Required Permissions. Press Add. Select an API. 
select Windows Azure Service Management API. Check the box next to the delegated permission. Press Done to add API access. Step 6. Let's create a secret key. In the Azure portal on the Settings blade, press Keys. Enter a key description. Select a duration. Press Save. Be sure to copy the key value. Paste the key value under Step 6. Your cloud is now ready to accept application publishing instructions from your instance of code on time. Let's authenticate and allow the generator to get the publishing access token in the last step of configuration. Press Authenticate. Sign in to your account. Accept the permissions. From now on, anytime you choose Publish to Azure option, you will be presented this screen where you choose your deployment options. My subscription name is pre-selected. Next, we will need to create an app service and database for our production deployment.